What's up guys? This is Luke from LZ Fitness, bringing you guys a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a review of my Titan T3 Series Power Rack. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, before I get into my traditional pro and con of the review, real quick, I want you guys to check out my review videos that I've done so far. I've done the adjustable dumbbells for power box, done the adjustable kettlebell with Bowflex, and I've done the Titan tricep bar. I'll put all of those links in the description. I'll also put all the links right up here for you guys to check out. And again, yeah, give them a shot, tell them what you think. These review videos seem to do pretty well, so I'm gonna do my best to bring these out for you guys as best I can. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show you guys the rack. So here is our Titan T3 series power rack. So again, where do you find this from? You could already hear by the, by the name of the rack, Titan Fitness is the company I got this from. They're a great company. We've gotten tons of equipment from them. We're gonna continue to support Titan Fitness because of the quality of their product. And with this rack, I wanted to kind of just break down the details of mine, the details of the ones that you could also get because the nice thing about this T3 series rack is that there's different variables you can have with it, different heights, different depths. And I think that's great, especially for someone you know, your ceilings, how high they are, if you're in your bedroom, your basement, or your you know, garage gym. I love that Titan has different types of heights and depths to fit the needs of your gym. All right, so when we talk about heights, with our ceilings, I had to get the 82 inch height. That way it doesn't smoke the top of our garage. So well, the nice thing about Titan is, what I'm gonna do for you guys is right here, I'm gonna break down the different heights and depths that you can have with the rack. So again, for me, we have 82 inches high, and then depth, depth is, you know, <clears throat> how wide out your rack can be. For us, we just did the 24 inch depth. So the only, I guess the only downfall is if you like to squat, you know, you don't have a lot of leeway room in here. So thankfully they have a wider depth range for you guys to check out, which I'm showing you in the clip, you guys can try. We don't really care to squat on the outside of the rack a lot. We actually almost prefer it more so it doesn't affect us. But yeah, so again, just to reiterate, we got 82 inch height and then 24 inch depth. And the total cost for that was 539. And kind of just to think about this, if you have the depth is wider and the height is taller, the price is gonna go up. And again, right here, I'll show you guys the price. Uh, if you have, you know, I think it's the 91, is the height and 36 is, is the depth. I'll show you guys the price in case, you know, you want a taller one because again, it depends on your ceiling height or wherever you're gonna put this. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the details of what it comes with the rack. So what I'll do, make sure as well, I'm gonna put a link in the description of the Titan T3 Series Power Rack so you guys can like, you know, click it, check it out too. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna kind of walk you through everything that came with the rack and I'll put here in the corner real quick to show you everything that comes with the rack. In case it might happen, I might forget a couple things. That way you know what all it comes with and things that you have to buy separately. That's the one thing that I'll get into later is not everything you want is gonna come with this rack. So here are some things that comes with your Titan T3 Series Power Rack. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is it comes with these j hooks and we've not had any problems with these j hooks uh they're pretty solid and you know we're not huge on you know power lifting so we're never gonna have problems even if you are a power lifter i would not worry these things are solid <clears throat> the next thing that it came with came with two pull-up bars so this one here is the one and a quarter inch pull-up bar we decided to, to put this one and bolt this one to our rack <clears throat> it also came with the two inch pull-up bar it's a lot thicker handle. Someone, if you're looking to build some forearms, you could also attach that. Some people I've seen is attached up here on the back, but with our lat attachment, we couldn't do that. So yeah, a quarter inch, one and a quarter inch pull-up bar we attached. Uh, the next thing it came with is all of your hardware. 
you know, you got your bolts, your nuts around the rack, you know, to help, you know, stabilize it, to put it together. And then the last thing is, and I, if you notice too, if you go on the website, you can add weight plate holders to your rack. It adds an extra expense, but for me personally, we're not bolting our rack down. So we're gonna use the weight plate holders to keep it down, to keep it steady. So if you notice, there's our weight plate holders right here. We don't have a ton of weight on it right now, but we are buying more weight to add to the rack. But we don't, we're not squatting 750 pounds. I'm not worried about this thing tipping over. So we have plenty of weight, we have over 150, almost 200 pounds of weight holding it down. So we're not having any issues with that. Okay, so here's where the honest review comes in. I'm gonna give you guys my pros of the Titan T3 Series Power Rack and then give you guys the cons of my Titan T3 Series Power Rack. So right now we're gonna start with our pros. So starting with pro number one is the fact that rackable, rackable means when you put the bar on your J-hooks, it can hold up to 1,100 pounds. And that is a ton of weight that a rack like this can hold. Now we're, we're never gonna get to that point, but if you're someone that can squat a ton of weight, that's a huge win for you, that when you stick this and rack it with your Olympic bar on this rack, it can hold up to 1,100 pounds, and that is huge. And another thing, Pro number two of the Titan T3's power rack is that it's very affordable. So when I got our depth and height, our height was 82 inches, our depth was 24 inches, and I added the weight plate holders, it was $540. Which for a power rack that, if you're smart, should last you a lifetime, that's not a lot of money for a power rack. $540 is not a bad price at all. So pro number three of the Titan T3's power rack is the fact that you can have different heights and different depths to whatever your preferences and specifications are wherever you're putting this. So again, to reiterate, we have the 82 inch height for our power rack and depth, we have 24 inches. But again, this goes to 91 inches tall and depth can go to 36 inches in depth. So that's the great thing is there's, there's multiple different heights and depths that this rack offers for the specifications of wherever you're gonna put your power rack. So pro number four is the fact that there are a ton of accessories that you can add to your power rack. So real quick, what I'll do is I'll put a little clip right here of where you would find it on the website with the Titan T3 Series power rack. I'm not gonna show you everything, just kind of guide you to how to find it. But I'll be honest, I drool at the fact that there's like a hundred different things you could add to this. Obviously, I'm not going to get all of them, but there's a lot of different things you can get. And real quick, I can show you guys just some things that we added with our own money is we have these roller uh, J-hooks that we added to the inside of our rack. That way we have two different sets of J-hooks. And we also added the lat tower to the back of our rack, which is an amazing feature, which I'll get more depth in the future um, a review of that. But I feel like just a game changer of fact, the lat tower, and I love that you can get extra J hooks to add to it. And we also have coming in the mail soon is a dip bar that's gonna attach the rack as well. So I'm excited, Titan is killing it. So pro number five, I'm gonna combine a couple things here for you guys. So the one thing to add to, I've kind of mentioned this earlier, is it's, it's pretty sturdy, okay? <laughs> if you notice, we don't have a ton of weight on this. And if I were to go and squat 400 pounds, I can guarantee you this thing's not gonna tip over because it's very sturdy and durable, and we don't even have it bolted down. I know a lot of people worry about racks if they can withstand a lot of weight because I know like some people buy cheaper Amazon racks, they're worried, is it gonna be worth it? With this rack, I would not worry. It's gonna stay upright. It's not gonna tip over. And then just to add to is I'm gonna always plug this is the fact that their customer service is dynamite. Free shipping, they're cordial, they answer the email fast. They have things, you have things go wrong within the week. You're gonna get things that you want that you know they're screwed up with. So Titan Fitness, shout out to you guys. Amazing customer service. Cannot wait to continue to buy products from your amazing company. 
Okay, so starting with con number one is the fact that they did not come with a lot of the accessories that I kind of thought a squat rack would have. And the one thing I want to mention is the safety options, which I thought would come with the rack, but it didn't. So they have two different types of safety options. They have the straps that you could put on the sides or they have the pin and pipe. That's what we have right here is the pin and pipe safety attachment. And then you just kind of pull the pin out and then you put the, um, the pipe in. It's pretty solid. You know, it's made of, it's made of steel. We've dropped a ton of weight on it. It's, it's held up nice, but kind of been nice if that kind of would have been an added feature. Cause I feel like a lot of the things in this rack, we kind of had to spend extra. So that would be my con number one. So con number two, and I don't mean to diss Titan Fitness cause I do love their company. It's really hard to follow how to put this together. I don't know if a lot of you guys have ever had problems with that. Could just be, you know, me and my family that was helping me. It was a lot of trial and error to figure out how to put this together. The instructions were not exactly as detailed as we wanted them to be. And that's kind of a huge ding is especially someone like me where I need step-by-step -step instructions. We didn't really have that. So it, it took a while to figure out, but if you're a handy person, you're kind of good at kind of imaging and figuring it out on your own, you'll be okay. But if you're someone like me that needs step-by-step -step instruction, that's the one thing that I did not like that they did with this rack. So con number three is something that it always, you know, has upset me because I am a very jumpy, like I want this, 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 and this, and this, and this. I don't know if you're that kind of person, but my patience is low and the attachments in this rack seem to always be out of stock. I don't know if it's, you know, because of COVID, it's hard to get everything that, you know, they want in stock, but I've always had trouble getting things that I want to attach my rack in stock. Thankfully, the dip bar finally came back in stock. I jumped on it right away. But it's just kind of a little bit of a ding is I wish that things, you know, that we want to attach the rack would be more available to us. So con number four, and this is, I wish they would do this on their power rack, is number the holes to insert the J-clips. It would just be a lot more efficient if we're doing supersets. I want to hurry up and put it in number three, number three. But now I have to sit here and count all the way down where I want to put it. It's a small minor detail, but it would be a lot more efficient if they had the numbers on the holes. And then the last thing, con number five, is we've had multiple products, sorry Titan, that the packaging has not been very good. We have things poking out of the box. You know, it thankfully it hasn't been damaged, but one thing I wish Titan would do is be careful on the packaging. I'm not sure if it's FedEx or UPS. It kind of rips on the truck, but Regardless, I wish the packaging would be better. That way, our product that we spent all this money on is in good shape. Drum roll, do I recommend this? Yes, I do recommend the Titan T3 Series Power Rack for your basement, bedroom, or garage gym. Okay, the price you can't beat. We have used it for almost a year. We didn't have any problems. You know me, I talk up Titan Venice all the time. 100% recommend this for your home gym. Check it out, use the links for the Power Rack and Titan Fitness to go get yourself a Titan T3 Series Power Rack. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that review video of the Titan T3 Series Power Rack. I'm gonna continue to do my best to add these videos to my content of the uh, LMZ Fitness YouTube page. Make sure to subscribe. We're at 321 subscribers. If you're not, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, help the guy out, subscribe. I think it said it was 87% of my viewers are not subscribed. Come on guys, subscribe. Check out the garage gym lifestyle and make sure also to like the video. I think I said 25 likes on the last video. Let's amp it up. Let's get 30 likes in this video and we can make it happen. And make sure to comment, share the video, show the world about the garage gym lifestyle with LMZ Fitness. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review video of my Titan T3 Series Power Rack. This is LMZ Fitness. This is Luke. We'll see you guys later.